Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. If you've been paying attention to the Cricut world lately, you might have heard the word kerning. So Cricut released a kerning update for their fonts and I thought we would do a video and take a look at two couple things. What is kerning? What does it do? How does it work within Cricut Design Space? and some tips and tricks for using the feature so that you get the most benefit out of it. So let's just dive right into Cricut Design Space and take a look at kerning when it comes to fonts. So let's take a look at kerning. So first of all, what is kerning? Let's take a look at it in action. So I'm going to change this font to a different font where kerning is going to be important. So we are gonna use this Embassy Standard Regular we're just gonna change this really quickly so we can look at what kerning is. So once that changes, let's zoom out a little bit so you can see, you can see that this is now written in cursive and all the cursive letters are together. So now, let's copy that, paste another one, and let's change this font again. This time I'm gonna change the font to Babette so now you can see a huge difference and a better description like visually of what kerning is. So this first embassy font has kerning and so that means that the letters are appropriately spaced and they look good when you actually put them into design space. The second font is not a font that is kerned so what happens is the letters are not spaced correctly and you would have to manually do that. And perhaps you've done that in the past. So now let's take a look at how do you tell which font has kerning, which doesn't, which do you use, how do you use them? Let's take a look at that a little bit closer. All right, so here I have some text and you can see it is kerned properly. How did I do that? Well, if you'll go into design space and you go to your font, you'll see a checkbox now. And that checkbox says only kerned fonts. When you have that checked, the only fonts that will appear are those that have kerning. So now I'm on Cricut fonts and any of these that I pick will have kerning and will be appropriately spaced. So I can pick this one and it should be appropriately spaced once it changes. And this could be cursive fonts or it can be fonts like this that are not cursive. So either way, this letter spacing, however, is correct on those that have kerning. Now, this should also work with your system fonts. I do find that most of them seem to work. Now, if you are missing some fonts, so there are some fonts you loved either on Cricut or on your system and they're missing now, I would uncheck this box. So these are my fonts and let's see what happens when I uncheck the box. Doesn't look like I had any maybe, but let's go to Cricut. So the box is checked and it says only current fonts I'm gonna, and I'm at the very top of the list. And if I uncheck that, all kinds of other fonts appear. So these are ones that don't have kerning and you would have to manually move your letters around. So that's just a tip if you're looking for a font that you used to use and it's not appearing anymore, that's probably why. So now let's take a look at this one a little bit closer. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna change this to white. You can see that although the letters are spaced together correctly, they do still have cut lines in between each letter. So that means in order to get an appropriate cut for your project, you're still gonna need to weld your text. So if I pick this and click the weld button, you will see that now I have three separate pieces and this word love will cut all in one piece and be one piece once it's cut. So you do wanna still weld your text, even though it is appropriately spaced, just so you don't get cuts in between your letters. Otherwise, you can still do everything you used to do with fonts. This is just an updated change so you don't have to manually move those letters around as much. I'm a huge fan of that. And I will also say that I am on a PC. This is for computers only right now. So it is not on mobile devices. So on those mobile devices, you would still need to manually move your letters around in order to get the spacing correct. However, if you're on PC or Mac, you should see this update where you have the kerning as part of your font options. And you can pick those fonts that have kerning in order to make it a little bit easier when you're designing with text in Cricut Design Space. 
So I hope this video helped you. I hope now you understand what kerning is and are ready to jump into Design Space, start using this new feature and making all of those cute projects with various fonts right in Cricut Design Space. If this video helped you learn something new, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything I've covered, please ask those in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have Cricut videos every week and trust me, you don't wanna miss any of those. Thank y'all so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.